Hi, I'm Lee Tushler, Executive Editor of Design World and EE World. And I'm Kelsey Ferrante, Associate Editor. Today we've got a mixed signal oscilloscope from Regal called the MSO1104Z-S. It's got color display spanning a 7-inch diagonal, and as you may be able to see, the scope is pretty compact. This is a 100 megahertz scope that has four analog channels and 16 digital channels. And it comes with four passive analog probes and an active logic probe. It also carries a 25 megahertz two-channel waveform generator. There are a lot of features on this scope, but some of those we'd like to mention include a sampling rate of up to one billion samples per second, or one sample every nanosecond, and up to 12 million memory points of waveform storage with 24 million as an option. It has a waveform update rate of 30,000 waveforms per second. Wait, what's a waveform update rate and why would anyone care? Well, the sample rate, which on this scope is one giga samples per second, says how frequently the scope samples the input signal within one cycle. But the waveform capture rate refers to how quickly the scope acquires waveforms while accounting for the scope's blind time or dead time. The dead time is the amount of time that elapses when the scope processes the waveform it has just acquired. During that dead time, it'll miss any signal activity. The more often a scope updates waveforms for a given observation time, the higher the probability of capturing and viewing an elusive event. Sounds like the faster the waveform update rate, the more likely you are to capture glitches. The scope also has what's called a memory-based FFT mode. Right. This is a computational mode that lets the scope calculate FFTs from the analog data it has acquired. The deep memory mode is a way of giving you a lot more data to analyze when you're looking at the frequency information in the captured waveform. Basically, it increases the record length over which you can look at the signal so you can see any harmonics that are located far away from the fundamental frequency of the signal you're trying to look at. That's important if, for example, you're trying to characterize noise that arises at a frequency far higher than the frequency of the waveform you're investigating. I notice there's an option for serial decoding. What's that about? That's for automatically triggering on and decoding signals that follow widely used serial protocols such as the SPI bus, I squared C, or RS-232. These are all synchronous protocols that show up in a lot of embedded systems. Now, you do have to get the serial decoding option separately, but it can be a handy thing to have. A few of the features we'll point out is its large parameter list lets you work with most conventional baud rates and types, and the scope can decode any two channels simultaneously. You can trigger on individual data elements and decode serial data on screen so you can read the information in a packet, say. You can also record a number of transfers and look for problems that arise over time. Sounds like a useful option to have. With that, we're out of time for today, but you can get more information about Regal's MSO1104Z-S series of scopes at www.regalna.com.